Two games this Sunday with the top seeds on the line, but it's the two teams that have held the number one spot all along that are limping in. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you on CBSSports.com. It's Tuesday Judgments. Of course, that means it's our NFL columnist, Clark Judge. And uh, Clark, we'll get to the Giants and the Panthers in just a sec. Let's start with the Titans. Albert Hainsworth, he's going to miss the rest of the regular season. Any chance you think this is a possible positive because he'll be rested for the playoffs? No, zero, uh, because you're, you're talking about your top defensive linemen. And with Kyle Vandenbosch out, you talk about your two top defensive linemen. You're going up against a Pittsburgh team this weekend that can gain home field advantage with a victory. And the one thing the Steelers don't do is protect. Well, you need your top defensive linemen, so it makes them very vulnerable this week. And then they go to Indianapolis the following week. So, no, there's no upside to this, any of these guys. So it sounds like you think that the Steelers will have home field advantage throughout the AFC. Yeah, I do. I, the Steelers are a hot team, and Tennessee's faltering. All right. Well, that game, of course, this weekend. The other one is the Giants and the Panthers for the one seed. And uh, Clark, uh, last week we talked about the Plexico Burris situation and how it had an effect in the Eagles game. The offense, again, was not very good against Dallas, just 218 yards. Uh, they gave up eight sacks. The receivers couldn't get open. Do you think that one incident this year with Plexico Burris shooting himself uh, is going to keep the Giants out of the Super Bowl? I don't know that's going to, but it certainly could, because teams now know he's not coming back. And before when the Giants lost him, it was for a game here, a game there, he was always coming back. Now teams are scheming against them, knowing he's not there. So they are committing that extra defender to the box and saying, we'll single up with these outside receivers. And you saw what happened against Dallas. They couldn't get any separation. It's going to be a problem down the stretch. So you like the Steelers to catch the Titans. Do you like the Panthers to catch and have home field in the NFC over the Giants? You know, strangely enough, Jason, after everything I've just said here, the answer is no. I I think the Giants find a way to win here this weekend because they're home. I think they're feeling some of that criticism. Somehow they get things together. I think the Giants will hold the home field advantage. What, what about the rest of the NFC, Clark, between the Buccaneers, the Cowboys, the Eagles, and the Falcons? Which two do you think make the playoffs? Well, there's a lot of emphasis and a lot of focus on the Cowboys and the Eagles because, boy, they're getting hot now. But I think I'm going the other direction. You look at the Bucks; they've got a very nice schedule. They've got Oakland and San Diego, and, and San Diego needs to win a game here. But there are two things going on here. Tampa's very tough at home, and San Diego stinks on the road. So that's going to be difficult. Oakland they can beat. So I say the Bucks are in. Now you look at the last position, and all Atlanta really has to do is go to Minnesota this weekend. It's going to be tough, but they've got to go there and win. They win there. They've got St. Louis at home. They're in. Well, one nice thing for the Falcons is that they don't have to deal with Pat Williams, which can mean more running room uh, for Michael Turner, yeah, exactly. the second leading rusher in the NFL. Let's go back to the AFC, Clark. Uh, I think we both agree that the Colts are going to get one of the wild card spots here. Uh, so which AFC East team wins the division, and then who gets the other wild card spot? Well, let's start with the other wild card spot first. I mean, I'd love to say it's Baltimore because I think Baltimore should get in there. But I don't think they can because they've got to play Dallas this weekend. That's going to be tough to win down there, especially the last game at Texas Stadium. A lot of emotions. I think Baltimore probably lose it, which means it opens the door for two AFC East teams. The loser there, I think, is going to be the Jets. I don't think the Jets are going to get in. I think either the Patriots or the Dolphins win that division. And the other team, the Patriots or the Dolphins, gets in. It's a wild card. All right, one last thing here, Clark, because uh, we've talked about uh, on CBS sports.com the resignation of Carl Peterson you can mm -hmm. see that video uh, I want to talk about uh, a different team and a, maybe another possible firing Jim Zorn the coach of the Redskins said this week that he feels like the worst coach in America uh, what do you make out of that and do you think we're going to see another new head coach with Washington well, if he's the worst coach, what does that say about Rod Marinelli or <laughs> Marvin Lewis? You know, I mean, he, he's not the worst coach in America. He's feeling bad because he just lost to the Bengals, and he should feel bad. They should have won that game. They didn't. Do I think he'll get fired? No, I don't. Because honestly, Jason, if we looked at it before the season and said 14 games into it, Jim Zorn would be seven and seven. You, that's a pretty good job. You know, his first time as a head coach anywhere at any level, that's a pretty good job. But the way it's happened here, starting out six and two and then stumbling down the stretch, doesn't look good. But no, I suspect he'll be back next year. Romeo Cornell, real quickly, he's gone. Yeah, he All is. Right. I think you saw why on Monday night. Yeah, I would agree. A 30 to 10 loss. And uh, hey, at least they got in the end zone, Clark. First <laughs> yeah. time in a month. Thanks to an interception. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it still counts for a touchdown. Clark Judge, thank you very much. We'll talk to you uh, on the end zone Wednesday here on CBSSports.com. I look forward to it, Jason. Thanks. All right, folks. And for more from Clark Judge and Pete Prisco and all of our NFL writers, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. For Clark, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.